Have you guys ever wondered if those myths you see online are real or fake? Well, today we're gonna be debunking those myths together to prove if they're real or they're just actual myths. But in order to do that, we need someone extremely smart, very intelligent, and we just need a mastermind to see if they could help us debunk these. Do you have anyone in mind? Yeah, he's on the way, actually. Oh, he's on the way? Yeah, he's on the way. All right, I guess we're just gonna wait and see if uh, he's... What's going on, man? What up? We're good to Were see you. Were you looking back? <clears throat> Never mind. What's up, Ryan? Anyways, How hey, you doing? thank you. I really need your help because we have some serious top myths that we need yeah. to debunk, and I need you, bro. I Dude, need you. hey, I'm the one that's gonna, you know, bring the brain power to this whole video, so let's freaking do it, man. Okay, you think you could just, like, park? Yeah, yeah, let me park the car. Okay. I'm so excited to do this. Okay. I've been waiting to use my brain power. Dude, of course. This is about to be an <laughs> So I hope you guys do enjoy 20 million subs on the way. This video is about to be lit. You ready to do this, Dude, Mr. Scientist? I'm freaking excited, man. Yeah. I, I used to read all those science books and stuff. And every time I watch YouTube and I see those little myths, I'm like, dude, no way that's real. Well, here we are today. Let's start with the first one. For the first myth, you can actually order unsalted french fries if you want a fresh batch of fries from McDonald's. You can ask for salt packets on its own so you can salt it how you want, but they're just fresh. They're not just sitting there, you know? Hey, I'm the type that likes my french fries to be hot. Sometimes my fries are cold. I think McDonald's french fries are literally oh, yeah, S tier. Oh, top notch, and they're the best when they're hot. Yeah. So this is like the best way to get the hottest fries the freshest fries, right? Yeah, because they have to freshly cook them, I right? love California burritos. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Nice to meet you, bro. How are you? I'm fine. Aldorne, can I order unsalted fries? Yeah, yeah. We'll do an order of those, and then if we could get some, like, salt packets on the side. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Do you get a lot of people that actually do this, or no? Yeah, we do, we do. Oh, okay. Why do they do it? Because they just want fresh fries. Okay, that's cool. So if you ask for unsalted french fries, then we get fresh french fries? Yeah, because uh, we always add the salt, like, ah. before. We have to make a new batch. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Oh, love oh. your Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. What up, what up? How you doing, Mike? Nice to meet you. That was a great class. Hey, that was sick, right? Me and my fans have chemistry, you know? Hey, so I guess the myth is confirmed. You could order unsalted fries, but we gotta do the taste test, of we course. We have to see if they're actually fresh french fries. Bro, we have acquired the fries. Yo, those look different, bro. No salt. They're freaking hot. Feel it? Oh. Oh. Okay, definitely fresh. What they usually have them in keeps it hot, right? Yeah. Eating freshly made McDonald's fries is a freaking experience. This tastes different. And this is without salt. Different, bro. Wait, so that means it's healthier, too. If you do want to salt it how you want. Oh. I think you have to open it. Man, I really miss having Anthony in my videos yeah, so uh, much. No, I'm just saying, I, you were trying to spray it without opening it. Spray it? <laughs> well, it's, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this kid, bro. Okay, okay. Now, with the salt. It hits way different. Noah? Turn the camera, Noah. Oh my god, that's so hot. I don't care like how old I get, McDonald's will always be the move. In my heart. In my heart and my legs, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Like in my legs, McDonald's always will be the number two. The number one, number one. Sorry. All right, guys, so the first myth is confirmed. It's true, you can order unsalted fries. And we like the new Mythbusters. Mythbusters! Is that how it goes? What are we doing next, more food? No. Wow. All right, guys, that's enough of this. Let's go bust some more myths. That's enough for you, no food. All right, this next one's actually pretty funny. It's kind of like a prank, and you can trick 60% of people, at least that's what we saw on the internet, into actually believing this. I'm sure you guys have seen this, where if you tell someone to pronounce what E-Y-E-S spells, some people are tricked into saying E-S. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, and what's Whoa. going on there? Yo! Everyone remembers that OG New York house video of Rain tricking Banks into saying it. Super, super funny. But we're gonna go up to random strangers in public and see if they actually get tricked into thinking it's ES or they say it's eyes. Let's go. I think it's eyes. What do you guys think? Yes. I think it might be ES. It might be, it okay. Might, I don't know for sure. It might. All right. <laughs> All right, my guy. What does YES spell? Yes. What does EYES spell? Yes. Got it. Uh, Wrong. Y E S spells yes. What does E Y E S spell? I don't know. E S is all I got. Now think about the two things you got on your face right here. Whoa. <laughs> hey, we 
got you. Hey, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Didn't you think it was ES yeah, for real? It's, it's eyes though. It's mind games right there. Right? Hey, it's nice to meet Thank you, my guy. Yeah, Have a good one. I didn't think it was actually gonna get people, but I think it's just because we know the joke. Hey, it's actually, I think we're gonna get everyone that we ask. That's crazy though. It really is a mind game. All right, so what does Y-E-S spell? Yes. What does E Y E S spell? Oh my gosh, you know oh, it. Yeah, yeah. She knows it. She knows it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Bye. What does Y E S spell? Yes. Now, what does E Y E S spell? Eyes. Oh. Have you heard of this joke before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I heard man. Before. Come on. I tried to get My mom got me, though. Okay. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, yeah, man. Nice to sure. meet you. What does Y E S spell? Yes. Now, what does E Y E S spell? Eight. Ace? Huh? E, think about it. E Y E S. So it's so Y E S spells yes. E Y E S spells. I. Yeah, you got it. It's like a little I mind game. I think we tricked you out first, though. Some people think it's E S. Yes. Eight hour day work day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you don't catch me at a good moment. Yeah, right. Hey, you thought about it, though. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right, so what does Y E S spell? Yes. Now, what does E Y E S spell? Eyes? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> it's supposed to trick people into saying E S. Just give them a time limit. Thank you for playing, thank bro. You, bro. I appreciate it. Your face, bro. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. Hey, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what does Y E S spell? Yes. yes. Have you guys heard of this? I think I know. Yeah. Oh. Is this the eyes? Yes, yes, it is. Oh my god, we can't get anyone. <laughs> Come on. What does Y E S spell? Oh yes. Okay. What does E Y E S spell? Yes. One more time. E Y E S. Oh, eyes. Oh, oh, you, you got, got it. it. You got oh, it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. supposed to trick the brain to yeah. like say E S. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, good yeah, job. Yeah, you, did, yeah. you got it right. Hey. Can I get a million dollars? <laughs> yeah. Next time for sure. Yeah. Hey man, maybe this myth was just wrong. The myth was completely false, or maybe just because the whole population knows the joke by now. Yeah. Ask someone who doesn't have social media. I bet you they'll get it wrong. Maybe ask your parents or something and record them and see if they get it wrong. But I think that was pretty funny. I think the myth is a fail. Yeah. No. Nope. Definitely debunked. So uh, let's move on to the next this next myth if you can pull a tablecloth correctly from under all these dishes it's supposed to not fall I think that this is gonna end with your mom yelling at you listen my parents are out of town right now so we'll have time to clean it but I think it's gonna work you just have to pull it correctly from what I saw you have to kind of like grab it and pull it down with confidence so let me be confident for this <laughs> you ready hold on hold on hold on Guys, don't try this at home, by the way, unless you want spanking hey, from your parents. Bro, like fast, fast, fast. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Down to the floor. Set. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was the icing on the cake right there. Um, I hey, don't hey, cut me out of the video, bro. Your mom is gonna come after me, bro. I don't think I did it properly. Why? What do you mean? Hey, let's roll that in slow mo. See where I went wrong. I kind of wish nothing fell. <laughs> now we got a mess to clean up. Hey, does that mean that's a myth? Maybe I just didn't pull it down properly. Maybe this does work. I've seen videos of people doing it right. So we're going to mark it a fail, but that's just because FaZe Rug did this. Not a normal person with a high IQ and regular are, brain. Are we cleaning it? We're going to clean this and we're going to move on to the next myth. So, for this next myth, we're sitting on me, rug, face rug. I have a lollipop in hand and I'm shirtless. Tell them why. Sure. I ain't complaining. But anyways, it's because you, sir, have some hairy armpits. I do, I do. We read that if you lick a lollipop and then you stick it right where there's hair, then you rip it off. It's like waxing off. my armpits with a lollipop. I personally don't know if this one will work. I don't think it's gonna work. Like, it doesn't feel like this is sticky. I think you need to lick it more. No, no, please. We're good. More. All right, guys. No, you wanna get a close-up on this? Can you just do it somewhere, like, right yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, where there isn't that much hair? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god, hold on, hold on, get it. So let's just get- Hey, yo, this is gonna hurt! Get it really in there. Hey, I can't risk another um, another one of these failing, so. Dude, hold on, I'm hold on. I'm gonna pull it off. Wait, why'd you- Three. No, two. Bro, wait. What? Wait, is there any hair? No. Now my pits smell pretty good. I feel like that little circle right there. Did it do anything? No, there's no hair on it. Nothing? 
No, it rips them off. Yeah, I, I swear. Look, 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 ready? Listen to it, get a close up. Sorry guys if you're eating, but ready? Ah! Yeah, it definitely did. Ow! Oh, wait, what is that? Bro, that actually hurt. Is this Mike deodorant right now? Ooh, yeah. Okay, guys, guys, guys. I, is it a success? No, 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 dude. It's gotta like rip off your armpit hair. Why have we gone so many fails? We at least gotta get a few successes before the end of the video. I think we will. Guys, the next one will be a success for sure. Let's go. All right, so for this next myth, we have two hard boiled eggs, and supposedly you can get the egg out without any shells on it by just blowing it. <laughs> I have personally seen this. Chill, bro. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, stop. Dirty minded man. Bro. Come on, bro. We're just blowing eggs. Anyway, just <laughs> I personally have seen this. I know it works, and it's the coolest thing ever. How do you know it works? I've done it before. Oh, you have? This is how I peel my eggs. Let's do it. Pointy side down, right? And then you wanna like make a small break like that, right? Small incision. Is that messing it up? Yep. Are you there? Yep, just watch me, please. Okay. You want to peel off about... Enough for the egg to come out, right? Yeah, just, just enough. Okay, and then... All right, so after you have your egg like this, where the bottom, you just cut barely, and then the top, just enough to, to blow. Can I do the honors? Yep. You ready for this? Yes. <laughs> what? What? Hold egg just came out of this dude literally no shells no nothing how sick is that look dude, look at that look i at had that. no idea about you didn't this. know you do that <laughs> now that is an overcooked hard-boiled egg <laughs> oh my god Gosh, is that freaking sick? That's one of the sickest things i've ever seen not only is it cool but it's actually efficient we got a success you want to suck on these eggs let's do it this next myth states that you cannot fold a paper more than seven times. I kind of believe it because I tried doing this at school all the time and it would always like end. Folding as in like in the middle? You have yes. to fold it in half seven times. Oh. Yes. So let's start with the first one, okay? Dude, oh my gosh, I suck at origami. <laughs> okay. One. One. Oh, you gotta give some extra time for Noah. Okay. <laughs> Look how bad this yep. is. What? Look that's at how bad this is. Two. Oh, two. Oh, that was easier. What do you do if you hit seven? Like, oh, you can't fold it seven? Oh, you can't fold a paper seven times. Okay, guys, I made a mistake. If you hit seven, then You're that means the myth is false. So I'm already on three. Okay, okay. I'm on three as well. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait for me. Okay, three, four. Oh my gosh, it's getting harder. This is easy. We're going to be able to do it. Five. Six. Oh yeah, it, it cuts off. Six. Okay, okay. so this is six. Seven. Wait, wait, I might six. be able... Okay, okay, here's for the seven. Ready? Oh my god, uh, it's a brick. It, it, you can't, you can't. it is a brick. <laughs> Yo. Oh, look, guys, look. Oh, oh yeah, no, way. it's impossible. Hey, seven look at my is hand. impossible. Look at my hand. My hand is literally like prickled. Look at this. That myth is <laughs> true. <laughs> I tried hitting the lens for a cool transition. Let's go. If you eat something very spicy, we all know that milk cures that, right? Yes. And we know that water actually makes it worse. Yes. Actually, I learned that the hard way. We read that tomatoes cure the spiciness in your mouth. Some people say even better than milk. Yeah, so we're going to test that out. Sorry, sorry. If that's true, we get to do the one chip challenge. There's actually a no. new one chip that came out that's a scorpion pepper plus Carolina Reaper pepper in one chip. If this works. Not only if this works, but if this video hits 300,000 likes, me and Anthony. No, no, no. Oh, no, oh my we God. will do the oh. new one chip challenge. They literally made it spicier and we almost died from the first Bro, 300,000 likes? What are you talking about? Making it like 400,000. No, 300's enough. 350. All right, so- 310,000 likes. Fine, 310. 310. Listen, we got some nice jalapenos. So we're gonna take a nice bite. It's actually pretty spicy. Cheers. Fine. Nothing too crazy, right? Because okay. Because like nothing, this isn't like a scorpion pepper. We're yeah, yeah, testing. this isn't too hot. Okay. It's gonna make your tongue feel the burn for sure. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, go on my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel it. Okay, calm down. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> calm down, bro. Oh, my God. Are this guy serious? All right, so I feel the burn. Wait, hold on. I need something spicier. Um. <gasps> Dude, something. Is it working though? No, no, it's not working. <laughs> Bro, it's not working. It's just hot. Really? <gasps> so I want to add the Reaper hot sauce. This is the real test. I didn't really want to go too spicy, but I figured if we want to actually test it, I have to feel a real, real burn. Man, I feel like the spice king from TikTok. Come on. All right. <laughs> this is the actual test because this is one of the world's spices. <gasps> Yo, why did I do that? <laughs> Move, bro. Uh, yo, hold on. Mm -mm. No, just for like a second, it stops it for like a second. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh my god. Mm -mm. I'm about to pass out. Okay, it doesn't work. Ah! Noah, Noah, please try this. 
something went wrong with my albedo. Dude, that one hurt. Dude, that one hurts. Wait, really? Okay, ready? Take a bite. Take a little bite. <laughs> that one came with like something. <laughs> Yeah, the tomato myth completely. Yeah, false. wait, that's not that's, that didn't false. work. <laughs> no, that you could. <laughs> Spice King is literally cringing at us right now. All right, for the next one, the myth is that you can turn water into ice by just hitting it, like. Just boom, ice, that's it, all frozen. So all you have to do is put it in the freezer for literally 20 minutes, and when we check on it, it's still gonna be liquidy, if that's a word. It's still gonna be liquid, and then when you just hit it, it turns into ice. It's turned into ice. You'll see it turn to ice from top to bottom. All right, we'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Here we go. Wait, what? Where's Anthony? Oh, he had to go debunk some other myths with another YouTuber. I think, oh, okay. Three, two, one. Wait, hold on. Dude, it didn't work. Oh my gosh. We have another one. Set. Can we tell them how many times we did this? Guys, okay. We tried this six times with six different water bottles and it just didn't work. It kind of turned into ice, but now I think it's just because it was in the freezer. It's not because we did that. Anyways, guys, I know this works. I saw a bunch of TikToks on it. My I've friends have confirmed it. You've done it. Yeah. So if you do it right, you can do it. So it is true. Guys, I hope you enjoyed us debunking these myths. If you guys want to see a part two or another video like this where we test stuff, I love doing stuff like this because it's super interesting to me. So make sure you drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button to this YouTube channel and hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Other than that, it's been Rug. And I'm out. Peace.